what do you think like in the future where do you think judo is going me personally i just want it out of the olympics and i genuinely don't care because they're not getting the proper recognition in terms of the people what they're doing and two if we kept the judo every two year world championship now every six months you have like a new world champion and if you do that and a proper hype a proper build up we don't need it i'll give you an example uh football or soccer you have the champions league you have the world cup so many of these people that we love like messi neymar all of them actually have an olympic gold medal but nobody knows why because their competitions are so prestigious that the olympics doesn't matter yeah judo I think, should be the same yeah i Jiu-Jitsu think it's doesn't tough. need the olympics clearly and it's doing great yeah that's a good i mean it is a good point you know AD, adcc in america the abu dhabi combat club world championships now is selling out the t-mobile arena you know there it, it's it's in august this year it's going to be a sold out crowd um They've they've got a lot of viewers. They've got a lot of media behind it right now. Um, where what judo lacks, you know, they're having their success. I think I think jujitsu is having their success because it's a big sport in America. The problem with judo is that it's big in other countries, but they don't have the media that they need to make the sport big worldwide. You know, like judo. Without the American audience, it's hard to be a big sport, mm. which is why soccer, you know, football, soccer, whatever you want to call it, which is why it was so important that they establish a professional league in America. That They started bringing some of the stars to America because only when the American people get behind sport and spend money, it becomes a humongous sport because we bring the media with us. You know, so they need that American fan base to follow it. And right now, jiu-jitsu has the American fan base behind it because of the UFC. And now because how big jiu-jitsu has become, everybody, pretty much everybody in America knows what jiu-jitsu is now. Yeah. Pretty much everybody. Like, or one of every 10 people that you meet in the United States knows somebody who takes jiu-jitsu. So, oh, you know, it's that familiar to people. But judo is still unheard of to people. People have no idea what judo is in America. Wow. No clue. Wow. Like, he, even here, it's starting to, 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 to catch up almost. Like, uh, for example, we, we're very proud here in France. Like, we are the best home crowd when it comes to Grand Slams. And it's true. Sure. And, yes. But jiu-jitsu is really catching up, uh, grappling and guys going into MMA or just competitors. Now we recently had the, the IBJJF, have you seen? And that's the judo stadium, uh, usually. It's the international, I'm sure you've been there, trained there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm just telling for the people that where they, the venue, it was the judo center, national center. And it, it's, it's really a shame, but also another thing Oh, that's a good thing. Uh, social media. Social media can play a big role. Now we can follow the fighters. We can follow the athletes. And I think like in the past, uh, let's say 50, 60 years ago, what, 30 years ago, you needed to be an Olympic sport for the sake of the outreach, for the sake of the people knowing who, um, who you are or getting around and getting some funding. I'm not sure about funding, but I guess... But now with social media and what's happening, if there's talent, people are going to put money in. There's going to be sponsors. There's going to be whatever. The Olympics, I genuinely, like with judo, for what it stands for, the technical heritage, the what it's supposed to be, what the founder wanted it to be, I genuinely don't see any reason for it to be there. And now we have the means to put it out there. I'd be scared to have judo leave the Olympics for the, for the, because in judo, a lot of national federations, if you think about Georgia, Uzbekistan, Azerbaijan, you think about Russia, you think about a lot of countries, they pride themselves in combat sports. And they put a lot of money into combat sports. 
Okay, and right now that's where judo is growing the most worldwide is those countries that I mentioned. Right. You know, in addition to Mongolia and other countries, right? But um, it's really growing there, and there's a lot of money coming from that region to put on and host events. Even Tajikistan is going to have the Junior World Championships next year, so or later this year, and it, it, it's because it's an Olympic sport. They're putting the money in. They want their fighters to become champions. They want their fighters to become somebody's in the sport. And I think without the the Olympic medal or without that Olympic cachet to it, they may not care and they may not invest in it. You know, even Brazil, right? If you think about Brazil for a second, they only win about 10 medals in total as a country in the entire Summer Olympics. That's every sport. That's basketball, volleyball, everything. Judo, they win two or three, sometimes four, in one Olympics. That is why judo is so big in Brazil, because it's their, one of their national Olympic sports that everybody tunes in, everybody's aware, and now everybody puts their kid in the sport. If you take judo out of the Olympics, I believe judo dies in Brazil. Dies. Goes away. That's my thought. So now you've lost one of the big nations in judo, and then you're going to lose maybe funding and, and maybe sportsmen no longer compete in, in – they'll still do judo in Georgia. They'll still do judo in Azerbaijan. But I don't think the national federations will get behind it. And now Saudi Arabia and the Emirates and other countries are now also starting to invest in judo because they want to have champions in the sport. You know, I don't think the world champion is the big enough title – for those those people, they want Olympic medals to make. They're, they're trying to they're trying to establish their country as as being great and putting them on the map. I, That's I, just my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I I completely agree and I I completely understand. I'm not saying there are no benefits in terms of putting it out there. Like the name alone, it's such a old name, Olympic champion. I get it, um, but I, I have two questions: Is jujitsu big in Brazil? It, it's a different level. So jiu-jitsu is, it's not as big as judo. Uh, many of the jiu-jitsu people were also judoka at one time. They did judo and they chose jiu-jitsu. But also many of those people leave Brazil and come to America and start a business because they can make money doing jiu-jitsu in America. In, in Brazil, jiu-jitsu is a very... I want to say almost a poor man's sport. It's a sport. There's no money in the sport in Brazil. It, a lot of people participate. A lot of people train. A lot of people do it. But there's no path for them to, to, be, to, to make any money or be successful. They have to leave Brazil in order to have you know, finances. But judo in Brazil is a very prestigious, it's almost a money sport. Right. It's, it's for the not not so much for the wealthy, but it's a well-funded government sport in Brazil with sponsors behind it here, too. You right. can so play that's, you can pay 300 euros for the entire year. Yes. Right. Right. So if you if you you know, it's just that the dynamic is so much different in America. Judo is next to nothing. And I say next to nothing. You're talking about maybe 20,000 people. In the entire Easy. country, twenty thousand people that do judo in America. In wow. the entire country, that's nothing. You know, we have so we have fifty. What, I don't want to be bad math, but if you think about what twenty thousand people, we have fifty states. So there's only four hundred people in each state doing judo. Some of our states are bigger than your countries. If you think yeah. about Texas, Texas is like three countries in Europe, but yeah. there's only 400 people doing judo in that whole, like, that's why there's no depth to American judo because the sport is spread out so much. There's right. not a, then. The, yeah, there's nobody, there's no clubs within some, the nearest club might be two, three, four hours away to do judo. Okay, now I get it. A lot of people tell me I live in said state and unfortunately i only do i love judo i watch your videos but i i can only do jujitsu because the the closest club is three hours away so 
and it's once a week or something. I'm like, oh, okay. I, if now you, think, I get it. you think about that for one second, right? It takes yeah. to, to drive from to drive from one side of the state of Texas to the other side of the state of Texas might take you 12 to 15 hours by driving. Wow. You only have you only have 400 on average 400 people in each state doing the sport. Of course, it's concentrated, right? Texas has a lot has a lot of judo. Maybe there's a thousand judoka in Texas, a thousand yeah. or two thousand. Wow. But it's not a lot, you know, compared my to the club. yeah. Yeah, I I see. Like for example, I'll give you an example. My club is 400, 400 meters away. Oh, right. And and the next town over, I can I can get there by foot. There's another club. Right, it's accessible. The, the sport of judo is not accessible to us. What they do here is they have like city city sports yeah, yeah. compound where you can do uh, yep. tennis, a bunch of stuff. Yep. They have the judo. So for example, sometimes they say uh, in so many towns, like especially if it's a big town or a suburb, Tuesday you train at this uh, gymnase. Uh, Thursday it's at gymnase X, but it's in the same town. Yeah. So it's uh, it's like uh, you don't have to open the space or rent or you don't have to do any of that. That's why it you have so many low prices, which is uh, good, and you get a lot of people. It's accessible. Right. And, it's affordable. It's accessible and affordable. Yes. Yeah. And but I have another question because I will I will play devil's advocate. <laughs> which would you like to which would you prefer to watch a pool of 66 in the olympics or a pool of 66 in the world championship uh i'd like to watch the pool of 60 now you should have phrased the question the other way would you rather watch a pool of 66 at the world championships or a pool of 16 at the olympics I'd rather watch the world championships if it's 66 people. No, no, 66 as in 66 kilograms. Oh, 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 I thought you meant the number of people in the event. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Would you like to watch the pool of 66 of the Olympics or the world championships? Right, 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 right. Yeah, of course, the world championships. So we can get attention. We can get, like, if it's exciting and there's talent, people will pay. But that's, that's us. Pay. But that's that's only to the judo audience. How do you get it outside of the judo audience? Who cares? First, you bring the leg grabs back because they will see techniques that are oh look, it's in MMA. Oh look, it's uh, it's in jujitsu too. Oh, let me try judo because they do more stand up than jujitsu. I'd like to be good at takedown so I can take it to my MMA or jujitsu. That's how it starts. Now you're still now you're on the same table with the other guys that are getting funded. Right. Right. So the rules play a big role because they want to, I'm not going to say separate, I'm going to say segregate themselves with their proper expression, that they isolate themselves to the point where the, the Olympics is their only crutch. I will say this. Well, one of the things that I will tell you that I think can save judo or make judo much bigger, and this is something that's come up a lot, judo needs to do something for the athlete that is not going to represent its country in the Olympic Games or the World Championships. 